everybody and welcome back to the Headbangers Hideout. Today we got another featured guitar tone patch. This one is from the George Lynch era, the 1985 under lock and key era. Uh, you guys can go ahead and call it whatever you like to. Real fast, I'm using the Boss E-Band JS10, which has the Boss GT100 effects processor already built into it. Real fast, if you haven't already, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell because we upload videos every single day. Uh, all my tones are free. Look at my playlist and you'll see over hundreds, almost 150 tones or more tones. Uh, uh, hundreds of tones on my playlist. <laughs> Alright, real fast. Uh, look at the screen and we're going to go ahead and get you there. Alright, so as you can see in the screen, I pretty much have an amp, compressor, overdrive distortion, uh, noise gate. I have no EQ for this tone. I'm using a chorus, a uh, boss chorus and delay and reverb all right this is pretty much it This is a fun tone, it's a live tone, and you can call it whatever you want to call it. Alright, so what do we have here? Let's go ahead and see what we have. We are using a natural clean amp, so whatever natural clean amp you want to use, modeling, or real fast, um, look at the screen, look at my settings, and I'll get you there. So whatever you have, uh, Axe Effects 8, 1, 2, 3, Line 6 Helix, uh, the Quad Cortex DSP, whatever you want to call it, Spark, um, anything you have, computer-based software, I'll get you there. Your results will vary. Again, I'm using a Tiger, Custom Tiger with the Marzio Super Distortion Pickups. So just keep that in mind, right? So for my amp modeling, basically I'm just using a Boss amp they call Natural Clean. So any Natural Clean amp you want to use, in your amp modeling, my almonds use that. And my gain is very low. And my effect level is at 80. There's my bass, 56, middle at 46, treble at 56, and my presence at 70. and get dirty really easily so it's fun all right what do i have here um you don't have this on your screen or settings or whatever it will not affect your tone and just my default my bright is off my t comp is on but it's at zero all right now i am using a compressor pedal see the comp is on and my sustain is at 80 my attack is at 10 and my tone is at zero but my effect level is at 40. <laughs> Alright, 
drive distortion, I'm using a Ibanez tube screamer, as you can see there. We're using an Ibanez tube screamer. And my settings for that, my drive is at 44, bottom at zero, tone at zero, and my effect level is at 78. <laughs> Uh, my noise gate is always pretty much at 50, 52, 48, so right in the middle. Uh, see my EQ, we're going to get out of there because I don't have any EQ. So let's go ahead and get out of the EQ. See the EQ is off. So I'm going to be giving you chorus, delay, and reverb, and we're already done with this tone patch. Again, you can call this tone anything you like to. You don't have to copy me. Don't be copying me. Bitch, don't be copying me on my... <laughs> You can call this whatever you want to call it. All right, so I am using the chorus, and there is my <laughs> settings. The a stereo mode chorus, in my case, it's ST2, so we use stereo chorus. My rate is at 30, my depth is at 60, and my effect level is at 55. <laughs> Last of these settings, well actually I have two more, I have delay and reverb. My delay is at 450 milliseconds, my feedback is at 40. Again, if you don't have 40 for your feedback, that would be what, at 11 o'clock, so look at it that way. My high cut is at 5.00 and my effect level is at 80. Again, always when you use my tones, I may have high delay levels, that's just a preference. Um, Feel free to drop that 84 to a 60. It sounds like this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I like roomy. I like to make it sound like it's like I'm in a, a hall or an arena. So I just have to go. Sure, I forget, doesn't matter. Lastly, I'm going to give you the reverb, and that's it. You may have a bunch of reverb types, so by all means, play with the reverb. I'm using Hall. Reverb time is at 1.4, high cut at 8.00, and my effect level is at 37. <laughs> But that is a live George Lynch tone. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, once you dial it in, if you want to dial it in, tweak it, make it sound better. If you like the way things are, that's that's great. Uh, thank you. Uh, but again, these are yours to make better with your setup, your amp, your pickups, whatever you're playing. This Now, this only has a humbucker. It may sound great with a Fender Telecaster with a five-way pickup switch or a three-way pickup switch. I haven't tried this tone with the uh, neck position or Telecaster, so it may sound really good. So try different guitars, different pickup configurations. 
uh, and again with your pickup selector, you may get a lot of rich tones. If you have any questions, comments, and feedback, leave them below. Everybody, thanks for subscribing, for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoy the tone. And you got more tones coming. I'm going to try and give you a lot more tones, at least four to five tones a week. You're all Tony. We're not deserving of your tone. <laughs> Mitch, you'll be getting hopefully four to five tones a week, give or take. Um, at least three to five. I'm going to shoot for four to five guitar tones a week. So, they're going to be coming. I have a whole list right here. We can't see the list because they're, they're secret. They're, they're surprise. All right, so stick around for more guitar tones. When we're wrapping up the guitar tones down the road, we'll get back to some riffs and some more reaction videos. But right now, I want to give you guys a bunch of guitar tones. So, bear with me and stay tuned. I have a lot more goodies. <laughs> Make you sound good and make you sound great by just following my uh, settings, and you'll make you'll sound really good through your setup. I guarantee it, but you just have to uh, tweak it with your ear. Tony, this sounds like crap. That's on your end. <laughs> see, you gotta make it sound better. All right, thanks everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.